Yeah, you know, you're always welcome to come out on the weather deck with me once we have the uh, warmer <laughs> weather, Sam. And yeah, temperatures this week just around the corner, going to be going above average just in time for the change of the seasons. But we have to get through tonight with some lake snow and some cold and wind. All right, some snow reports I did find from the past 24 hours. A lot of this fell actually today and a little bit last night. Montague in Lewis County, 11 inches. West Carthage, Jefferson County, 7.5. Constableville, Lewis County, 6 inches plus. Fulton, 6 inches. Brewerton, especially here, 5.8 inches. We were forecasting 2 to 6 just north of Syracuse, right on that county line there between those two counties. And New York Mills, about 1.5 inches. The airport under an inch and peak wind gusts. Did you get woken up by the wind last night? I heard it a little bit. We had peak wind gusts in Syracuse of 45 miles per hour. Fulton 48 miles an hour. Watertown 53 mile per hour gusts there. And we still have these weather alerts for tonight. Lake effects no warning through now and 8 p.m. tonight. Oswego Lewis County is there and Northern Oneida County winter weather advisory through the same time for still lake effect snow in the area with impacts on travel. We'll get to the radar in a moment. Temperatures right now are in the low 30s in Syracuse, upper 20s, Utica, Rome, Hamilton, and Cortland, but with the gusty winds going on, look at this, 26 mile per hour gust Syracuse, 40 mile per hour gust in Fulton. Yeah, this is why I still have the earmuffs and the gloves on. Wind chills are pretty much in the teens to around 20. That's what you want to dress for if you're heading out tonight. Live triple Doppler radar brought to you by Falls so Service experts. As expected here, the lake snow band just kind of just really just brushed an extreme northern Onda County earlier today. And now it's in northern sections of Oneida County, extreme southern Lewis, and central northern sections of Oswego County. Kind of a broken band, but still pretty persistent here. And it'll stay that way as we go through the evening hours. Between now and, say, 7 p.m., the broken band will remain north of the thruway, north of Syracuse. And with the wind shifting to west southwest, we'll shut down the lake snow. And that means tonight a generally clearing sky, lows in the upper teens to low 20s, with some sun to start out your Monday and the afternoon. High temperatures mid to upper 40s. Some spots could briefly touch on 50 with some high clouds wisping in. Snowfall forecasts rest of tonight through about midnight. Many areas just seeing a trace in the gray, but areas of the north in Oswego County, maybe one to as much as four inches north and south of 81. Watch out for blowing snow. There could still be some whiteouts. Same thing goes for northern Oneida County. All right, tonight lows in the upper teens, low 20s, and the next seven days look like this. 48 tomorrow for the first day of spring. Near 50 Tuesday looks dry, sun and clouds. Wednesday, low 50s, mainly cloudy. Some rain off and on Thursday. Same thing Friday, 55 and 48 for those days. And next weekend, we could see some lake effect snow back in the picture by Sunday. High is only in the 30s. Sam?